Wow. There's like new sounds and stuff. I am a robot. Yeah, just kidding. Let's see what sort of combination I end up with this game. So since I don't really have to recap the game, or I don't really think I need to every single game, let's just talk in between the rounds. So I actually just got off the phone with my mom earlier. I did a video chat with her and she called me while I was taking a nap because I didn't get much sleep, you know, <laughs> with a Dota major, I will be sleep deprived a bit or just um, a schedule where I'm not used to it, obviously, because I'm going to be having random sleeping breaks and stuff. Wow, this always ends up feeling so loud. I don't understand. But yeah, she called me while I was sleeping. And after I woke up, I was still feeling pretty tired or groggy or just not very energized. So I wanted to not call her back right away. And actually, I was tempted to not call her back, admittedly, but I didn't want to be that child that just doesn't respond. You know how in the past I would say I pride myself in being someone who always responds to stuff, and I will admit that as time has passed, I have actually been not as rigid on that surprisingly and that does surprise me because that was always something that i took extremely seriously i would be like if i get a message i'm responding to this shit right away but i don't know it kind of feels like i sort of understand now why stuff certain things isn't as important i don't know if that makes much sense but um i think that it was just something as a child or growing up as a teenager into adulthood I always focus so much on communication that nowadays I've gotten very much more lenient on it compared to before way more lenient than before before I feel like if I ever had a conversation with someone where they would take days to respond I would just not want to talk to them and I have a family friend that I occasionally text in that regard so I will admit that when I talk to him it does feel kind of um, it's I do admit it's very hard for me to take a conversation seriously if it's in that regard where like you just don't really talk to them much <laughs> if that makes any sense because you know if they respond days later how do you take that conversation seriously because it, there's such a long gap maybe but maybe that's a bad argument because we used to write letters back then and that was even longer so anyways um as usual we kind of talked about a lot of the same stuff and honestly I feel like it should be something that I kind of confront her about because I have mentioned that she always comments on the fact that I don't have friends or that I don't go to social outings. Every single phone call, I think they bring it up. And honestly, I hate it so much. It really, bo it really bothers me. And I think usually when they say something like that, I'm just like, in a kind of casual way I'm like uh, no I don't want to like in that sense but I feel like I should maybe be a bit more firm about it maybe because I just feel like something like that they're never gonna change unless you really be firm about it and not in a light-hearted joking way that we tend to do it probably has to be more like stop saying that because that really just shows that she doesn't accept me for who I am if she's constantly telling me to be social and I absolutely hate it so I do think next time if they bring it up I'm gonna be really really firm about it because how fucking shitty does it feel if your parents don't even accept you for who you are especially when I've been extremely extremely 
um, outspoken? Is that the word, I guess? I've been very, very apparent, I guess you can say, about the type of person I am. So it's not a surprise that I am the way I am. So for her to be commenting about it, fucking a decade later, I would say that I've been like this since senior year of high school, right? So it's basically a decade now. And if they're still making comments about it, they shouldn't because that's just freaking who I am. And it's very frustrating to hear that from your parent on a regular basis to change and not be the self where you're happy, most happy with. So I am thinking I will probably try to go some sort of warrior. Oh, shit. I need to sell stuff. I need the CM. Probably do some sort of mage, I think. Mm. Oh my god, this is weird. Because I have an axe, but I think I want to go knights. <sighs> I don't really know if I want to go trolls this time. The problem with early games sometimes is I feel very pressured to save money, which means not buying stuff as much, right? But I feel like early game, it might be good for you to be very diverse with what you buy because you still need to figure out where what you're going to go. And if you don't buy diverse pieces, you won't get those two stars. Uh... Yeah, I guess I'll keep Dazzle for now, because if I end up with a loose streak, I could use his priest um, passive. Hmm. Ice is nice. Okay, maybe I should use him for orc. And then... Ah, fuck. Maybe I shouldn't go mage entirely. This is tough. <laughs> I think I would like to go hunter because I get undead synergy with drow and abaddon. I was just lucky enough to get razor early, but if I, he stays a one star, then I won't feel as bad about him. Getting rid of him, especially because I don't have any synergy with him right now. Wow. Wow, this is weird. Damn it, where's my phone? I want to take a picture of something. Riley has her paw on um, freaking Sammy and it's very weird to see them engaging with each other I'll, s I'll probably drop the mage idea um what do I even want here that I guess hmm Actually, maybe I should put out Undead or something like that. <laughs> Let's see. So, this upcoming day of the Major is going to be incredible. The games are going to start in about two and a half hours. It's 10.46 right now, and holy shit, I'm getting wrecked. But I am... Probably not watching the first series. Wow, I've had so many timber saws come up by now, but I uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. Here, let's start doing corner strat. I actually am not that low on health. I thought I would be closer to the bottom. So that surprises me. I guess I'll buy him for now. 
although I probably would not want to make him into two star because then I would lose some gold for that and I don't think I plan on keeping him exactly but yeah anyways um very exciting games coming up my team LGD is playing ninjas in pajamas at 4:30, and that is a lower bracket game so <laughs> I really, really hope they win. I feel like they really should. And then there's going to be an upper bracket game of Team Secret versus Evil Geniuses at 8 o'clock. And then actually there's the lower bracket match after that, which hopefully will have LGD in it because of them winning. So we have exciting games coming up. Let me get rid of him now. But yeah, I was actually, oh, interestingly enough, during my conversation with my mom, my mom actually was like, have you ever thought of trying to speak Chinese with us so you could practice? And this was actually something I was really interested in a couple years ago. I was really obsessing over wanting to practice and learn more Chinese and be fluent. So something I actually did, which I managed to have a lot of fun with at first, was um I would watch this game show called Kang Shi Laila, which was very popular in Taiwan. And I would watch that show on YouTube and I would look up every single phrase that I did not understand during the video. And it, trust me, it took freaking forever. It was very, very time consuming, but I had fun with it because the talk show was humorous and it had celebrities on it. And I know my fair share of um, Asian celebrities, maybe not so much newcomers nowadays, but um, I used to watch Chinese dramas or I watch Chinese movies and I know some um, Taiwanese pop stars and whatnot. Actually, one of my favorite Taiwanese artists is Jay Chow, which I think some Americans would be familiar with him because he was in, uh, what the fuck is it called? It was that movie with Seth Rogen. Was it like something B? <laughs> I forget what the hell it was called. But anyways, he was in a movie here. And honestly, like, I'd say his talent is mostly in music for sure he's super talented when it comes to music so sec, let me just do this shit really quick what do i want put you out but yeah he is super good with music i love his music a lot and I would say I like to keep up with his music mainly. He's like the only Asian artist right now that I make sure I listen to his new stuff whenever he comes out with it. He actually used to come out with an album every single year, but I think now that he's getting older, he's been in the business for so long and he has a daughter now. So he's probably spending more time with family or traveling and whatnot. So that's nice. This day belongs to us. Oh, and I guess another thing that I could talk about that I uh, was thinking about earlier. Wait, let me think first. Do I want to change my lineup at all? Oh. Man, I still only have one hunter out. That sucks. It's like I literally have all tanks, hardly any damage dealers out. But um, I actually had a team lunch today. And it was to welcome a new member to our team. But these members... So the way my team or my company works for my job <laughs> so this is specific to me um i have a manager who has two teams he manages two teams i believe so on one side he has me um my other co-worker and then one other one so it's three of us and these are the three that i mainly work with whereas his other side are a bunch of test engineers so 
I hardly ever, pretty much never, interact with these test engineers, but oftentimes we have new hires and we have these meetings. Uh, no, not meetings, sorry. Uh, we have these lunches for welcoming them. And usually when they send out these invites, it is feeling, you know, uh, mandatory, which sucks. You don't want to have to feel that way, but it usually does. So we have these meetings and I actually wonder if I should buy these bat riders because I'm trying to go nights, but I don't know what I want to sell here. I really want to keep my hunters, honestly, because bat rider is a shitty unit. This kind of blows. I'll risk selling Wind Ranger. I guess I might regret it. I think I'll regret it. But yeah, anyways, we went out to eat for lunch. And usually whenever these events happen, <laughs> I dread it because I don't enjoy these outings. I tend to go because it feels mandatory. And it kind of is because I don't usually have work in a way where I can't attend. I usually am able to. So because of that, I just, all right, you know what? One sec, let me put someone out. Maybe I'll regret this. Will I regret this? Do I need the Luna? I don't think I desperately need the Luna. I feel like she'd be nice to have though. I'll avoid it for now. But yeah, so we went to this place in La Jolla, which is further away from the office, further away from my house. So I usually am not happy in those situations because these lunches tend to run to a period of time where traffic starts being shitty, right? So it becomes an outing where I don't even want to go but I feel compelled to. And then when it comes to the traffic situation, I'm just like not happy with it. So. Sorry, let me do this real quick. Okay. I'm very jumbled today, sorry. So anyways, what I was kind of feeling frustrated with during this lunch was that I am very upfront, right, with stuff. And I made it very apparent, like one of my coworkers that I talk to the most, he knows me pretty well. So he definitely knows that I don't like these outings. So whenever I talked about wanting to leave, like we had been there for about, hmm, two hours yeah I'd say we were there for about two hours nearing three actually and I was saying that I really wanted to leave by then I usually just don't because I don't want to be the first person to suggest leaving I guess so I felt like I couldn't and he just feels like he makes these remarks where I'm being like a Debbie Downer or something and I guess a lot of people can often take these reactions or comments as lighthearted but I really don't like when people do that because it's basically them just disapproving of you right I think that makes sense because it's so obvious. I know like what type of person I am and the type of person I am is not liking going to a bar. This was like a bar restaurant type of place where people go there for happy hour and I don't want to drink anymore. I don't care about it. I don't find it fun. I have zero interest in it. So they would make comments like, oh, we should just, just get a drink, just get a drink, just get a drink. And it's like, no, I don't fucking care about this stuff. But I, it's just so frustrating, right? That people don't accept you. Like, I don't fucking understand sometimes why it's so hard for people to do something as simple as that. And yeah, I just, uh, <laughs> I bottle up these 
annoying feelings sometimes, I suppose, because after I left, I was just thinking about like, why can't he just fucking understand that I wanted to leave and I don't enjoy these outings? Like, so fucking hard for people to comprehend something like that sometimes. And I just, um, I suppose I wished it didn't always have to be that way. Um, I noticed that so often now because similar to earlier when I talked about my mom literally commenting like can you be someone different go make some friends why is it so hard for people to not make comments like that because I don't call her and tell her to yeah you should do this you should probably do this I never say something like that I don't have any interest in saying something like that like it doesn't bother me if she's different right like it's not really a big deal so yeah that stuff is very frustrating and um i don't get it i really don't get it maybe that was a bad idea to get rid of a two star just to put in a third hunter but i wanted this damage bonus um I think it would be nice to have by now. I think my next few changes will be hopefully getting my two-star Omni Knight. I'm going to get level 8 next turn, which is very good, actually, because that means I get access to $5 pieces. And um, actually, I was watching over my other gods video, and I was actually cringing so hard at the fact that I had eight pieces out out of nine for the longest time. I couldn't believe that I did something like that. Like, didn't even notice. It really surprised me for sure. Oh, shit. Really? I ran out of time to put a guy out? Damn it. Literally just made the mistake I fucking just talked about. I can't believe it. Hopefully it doesn't fuck me. Oh man, is it really going to screw me over? No, please no. Yeah, I think, I feel like I would have won this if I, uh, oh wow, that was my streak too. Alright, I need to focus. Why am I talking to you guys? <laughs> um, let me reroll first. My arrow pierces the weary. I guess I'll put him out then. I wonder what it would be like to get a three-star AM. I don't really know if it makes sense to do that. I bring an end. I bring an end to Why not? They're offered to me. So hopefully I get um, a two-star of one of these soon so I can make space. It kind of sucks to have like all of these. I think I usually like to make it a rule to not make a three star of something for more than i'd say definitely not more than two because then you just like have so much space taken up on the side of your bench and also um that's a lot of gold to hold on to right for a unit you technically already have Ooh, i need to buy him i'm gonna get rid of yeah, I'm going to get rid of this anti-mage because I remember one game I got a 3-star AM pretty early because I wanted to sort of force it since I was lucky enough to get him pretty early. And I just remembered he did not have the impact that I wanted or expected. So definitely not going to reserve space for him if there's something like chaos knight because i actually need two more for a three star and he's a very i really like him as three star he's very good but man what the fuck these freaking assassins killed my back line i don't know if i'm gonna win this i think i should actually fucking ck is a good unit but if these guys get their lucky crit shit then that won't happen throw your stun bitch jesus don't crit Yes! You died well. 
Sometimes their, their hopping shit in this game actually really annoys me. <laughs> Finally. Finally, you fucking guy. I think I'm going to focus more on three knights and hunters, the rest, because if I manage six hunters, that's really good damage, but I'm actually being, I feel like I've been a bit unlucky, right? Because I haven't, I only got that one Wind Ranger early game that I kind of sold because I wasn't getting on other hunters yet, and I haven't finished this bitch forever. Um, I would like to finish Sniper because he's a pretty nice hunter to have. But I'd say... Oh, shit. I didn't even notice Jose was out already. He got a Keeper of the Light two-star pretty early also. I will get level 9 next round, which I think is pretty good. I'm actually a little surprised at my discipline lately because I think when I first started playing this game, I was like annoyed at the fact that you have to discipline yourself and not reroll when you play this game. And admittedly, that can make some of the rounds a little boring, right? Because you do literally nothing. You don't really buy anything and you don't reroll so you just sit there for the full 30 seconds but I guess that 30 seconds manages to pass by pretty quickly so that's it's probably not as bad as you think oh my god one more just uno mas who do I want to probably put this on her Oh, and actually, something I'm sort of excited about, I guess, is the fact that the battle passes out. So what I'm talking about is this thing. So the international, just in case people don't know, even though I feel like if you've been watching me for a while, you would know what it is because I went last year and it is a very, very ex important event for Dota, pro Dota. Holy shit though, this guy's raping me. Oh, basically though, this guy rerolled so much, but I actually am a little scared of him because he has like a swarmy lineup. Oh my god, I'm fucking eight out of nine also. God damn it, what is wrong with me? Do I want Dragonite? Oh, I definitely want you. I don't want Dragonite. I want you. Damn. I want to see if he beats me again on his board. Oh, actually, I need to get rid of my anti-mage. I feel like he's kind of useless by now. What the hell? This guy has a crazy lineup also. I might have to start like using my rerolls and crap. Because these people are owning me, I think. Oh, actually, fuck. I actually should try to... There we go. Time for target practice. Another arrow in my quiver. So I should actually try to go for undead synergy. Four undeads. I've never done it before, but I think it's actually very strong. And I just missed the Necrophos. He's undead. So I should definitely give that a try. It's this fucking guy again. He's going to own me. That tree is just taking up too much time to kill, honestly. But we'll see. 
I also need more mana items on Medusa because her ability is taking too long to go off. And actually, they were too far back, so they didn't even get stunned by her. Wow! This guy owned me earlier. Okay, here we go. Techies is tempting, but he's useless for me. My arrow pierces the wind. This is probably going to be my sixth hunter. Well, actually, if I see a tide hunter, I'm definitely going to use him. So maybe... Yeah, this is tough, actually. If I go six hunters, I won't have space for undead. So maybe I shouldn't go it? Wow, this guy is destroying me. Why? Probably because his Medusa is getting her stun off and I have zero CC. I should try to roll for CK3, I think. My quiver and bow are ready. I'll just buy any hunter I fucking see. Where the fuck are you? Oh my god. My quiver and bow are ready. I need Marana. My arrow pierces the wind. Master of beasts. Oh, I'll put him in over a night so I get six. That might be a pretty decent. Yeah. This is good for my Medusa. It's actually annoying that I don't have a two star version of her when I'm level nine. I might just blow all my money. Do I need to blow all my money? I think if I lose one more round, I'll blow all my money because 24 can't die in one round, but below that for sure I could there she is fuck yes Quiver and bow are ready. Let's see, how much gold do I need to level up? I need around 40. Kill this bitch! Okay, good. Is this guy gonna beat me? Yeah, he's still gonna beat me. It's okay. I don't mind getting second. <laughs> oh. Let's uh, continue my story from earlier. Damn, this is actually hard. Yeah, it's hard to keep track of this crap. But, um... Ooh. I think I'll use him instead of this damn girl. So, the International is happening in Shanghai this year, in August, and the Battle Pass is something that Valve does every year that helps supply the prize pool. It basically is a bunch of cosmetics, or it's like a new battlefield, or it's like other graphics and all of that nonsense. So, that just is something that like people spend a shitload of money on before the tournament and we end up getting like what uh fucking high ass prize pool like millions of dollars so 
I think right now it's at like 7 million and it's only been a couple days. The hunter feasts. My quiver and bow are ready. Fuck. Let's see if this final push will save me. So anyways, I have not played Dota in very long. I never play the normal MOBA, and I mention how that makes me sad because I love the freaking game. Um, I really enjoy it. I just know that I surprisingly I do enjoy the game much more with friends but I also know that I've driven people away over the years for a game like this so I am really losing my train of thought this is kind of hard I should try to focus on talking about the game I think from now on but um yeah I don't have people to play Dota with anymore so it's made it hard for me to even uh, motivate myself to play it. And because of that, I haven't played in once. And I do think that if I solo queue, I still find it not as enjoyable as it could be. And there's just always all these issues. Like I have had people invite me to play before and they're decent people some of their friends tend to suck ass which is why i always um am reluctant to play even if i get invited which is a rarity but another issue i tend to have is that some of these people are just really cocky and i hate that trait very badly um i really hate interacting with people that behave that way so I tend to not want to play with people like that and because of that it severely limits um, who I'm able to play with because it's just really hard to find mature gamers so I the time period where I played a lot a lot a lot a lot of Dota was with my ex-boyfriend and he actually still plays I don't know how much he plays because he always sort of like limited himself where he would go to sleep on time and wouldn't play too late. And for someone like me, I just, I don't, oh fuck, I'm so bad. I think I'll still get it though. But yeah, like a uh, fucking creep round, man. <laughs> Yeah, like he would always care a lot about not messing up his sleep schedule by playing too late. And for someone like me, I don't care. <laughs> I enjoy just, you know, whatever I want to do, I will do it. doesn't matter. So because of that, um, we've played significantly less over the years. And honestly, just in general, he became someone that... I didn't feel like I clicked well with at all anymore. So just to be clear, this was my latest ex-boyfriend, the most recent. So he was the last person I dated when I was living in New Jersey. But anyways, um, I want to see if I win this. This guy is a fucking level two gyro. I lost. 